Hypnosis, we're ambiguous Question our legality, we have fun with this Hypnosis, welcome to hypnosis I don't even Vlognosis has been feeling a little bit tired lately, so I thought it might be a good opportunity for me to try out some energy supplements. I'm thinking about doing an entire vlog series on energy supplements, such as the ever-popular energy drinks like your Red Bulls and your Rockstars and your Monsters, but also some common off-the-shelf supplements, because I am very curious how these all stack up against each other. You know, is it better to take an energy drink, or is it better to take an energy pill, or they have those little shots like the five-hour energy shots. I'm really curious, do these things actually work? So I decided to start out this series of reviews with kind of an edgy product. I'm interested in this as an energy supplement because it contains a lot of herbs and extracts that improve blood flow, that increase your energy and your stamina. So it's a little bit beyond what you might find in a Red Bull, which I think Red Bulls, you know, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like caffeine and sugar. When I look on the internet, people say that some of these ingredients are just, they're hocus pocus, they're snake oil. But the ones that did seem to ring a bell were the maca, which is like a really, apparently it's a really high power caffeine-like substance. So it's going to give me lots of energy. And it also has ginseng. It has 100 milligrams of ginseng, and that's supposed to be good for uh, your energy levels. I don't even know if it's going to do anything, but it does have me curious. Let's go ahead and open this up. They're fairly large. They are gel caps, so let's give this a shot. So it looks like I picked a real loser to start out my series on energy supplements. I ended up in the emergency room. It was between half an hour and an hour after taking that first pill, and I only took one, as directed. Um, I began to feel like I was coming down with the flu, and after a little bit, it wasn't just any flu, it was it was about four times as bad. I was getting really sweaty and really hot, and my heart was, was beating really fast. Um, I was getting goosebumps all over my body, and every everything that hurt on me hurt four times as bad as it usually does. I started drooling a lot, and shaking at any time I tried to do anything my body was shaking the, the muscles around my eyes just hurt really bad I felt like somebody was driving pins into my eyeballs and also I became very sensitive to light I this is just me recounting my personal experience but if you were to ask me after what happened I could not recommend this product at all I think for my next episode in this series, I'm going to tone it down quite dramatically and go with uh, an energy drink. On this episode especially, I, I would love to hear your feedback. Have any of you tried this pill before? Also, I'd like to remind you to subscribe if you haven't done so already because, well, it's free and um, it won't land you in the hospital. Anyway, I. I want to thank you for watching this episode, and I'm just thankful to be alive. And I hope that none of you ever go through an experience like this if you're trying out a new product. So be safe out there, and uh, take care of yourselves. Mm -hmm.